Bonjour. Bonjour. Euh, Est-ce que ça marche? Mais oui, si, si tu es là, ça marche. Je vais d'abord arriver, du coup. Hello, hello. Hello. Comment ça va? Ça va, j'ai du mal à retrouver le lien pour euh, la, le Zoom. Je suis en retard, je suis en retard. <rire> Moi aussi, j'étais en retard parce que je n'arrivais enfin bon, pas à allumer mon ordi. Euh, j'ai besoin de l'iPad, donc je suis avec l'ordi aujourd'hui. Et euh, alors je vois qu'il y a Déborah, mais je ne la vois pas. Mais en fait, le lien, il est en théorie, il est sur le... Ah, peut-être pas. Il est sur la page de Patreon en, en eau. Ah bon Piné, non Je crois pas. Je suis descendue jusqu'à très très loin. Ouais, moi aussi, et... le même problème. Et sinon, dans le... Hi Deborah euh... et... okay. euh... Je pense que c'est... Euh... Le lien, il est... Euh... Enfin bon, c'est pas grave, on s'en fout. De toute façon, c'était le dernier dimanche, alors il va falloir que tu en refasses. <rire> voilà, c'est ça. How are you, everybody? How are you, Deborah? Et Beko et Justine, comment ça va? Bon, bah, c'est cool. Uh, OK, I guess that there will, will, will be no more people because I guess it's, it's already late. And it's sas. Um, anyway, okay, okay. So today, I'm not in the best uh, form, uh, physical and mental form, uh, but uh, so we are going to do um, some. Uh, I don't remember if we already done it, the future self meditation, uh, I don't remember, anyway, uh, sorry, come on data, si, okay, Mina is coming, coming home, um, and then we are going to do some drawing, and then we are going to do some journaling exercise, And uh, that's it. <laughs> so, um, how, how many of you are still doing the daily uh, practice of uh, writing down uh, the things you want, the things you like? <laughs> you can see Justine. Okay, no, no problem. Now, what we are going to do today is some kind of journaling practice that you can integrate to this kind of daily practice. But as usual, it's not an obligation. It's more like a, a way of going a little bit deeper. Uh, it will be not easy to do the meditation. I don't know if you can hear it. I guess that the, the um, how do you call l'équipe, the, uh, The rugby uh, team, La Rochelle, uh, just won a match. And so all the town is like bee, bee, doing, there is uh, cars that anking, I don't know how to say. I don't know, maybe you don't, you don't hear it, it's okay. So before starting, we are going to do a small, not a small uh, meditation, a future self meditation. So that even because we will need to to decide if we want to work some on some goals on the journaling exercise and doing this kind of meditation, maybe will give you some hint or will give you some uh, ideas about the the exercise that that are going to come after. Can you can you hear? Oh, yes, I'm so sorry. And I'm easy, easily distracted because we, are, we need to do some meditation. And so those people, <laughs> but it's, it's cool. 
Viva la Rochelle. So we are going to try to don't listen to the to the supporter uh, from La Rochelle, and we are going to sit uh, uh, tall through the spine, and then if you feel comfortable, you can close your eyes, or you can just look down. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. So we are going to start to focus on the breathing as usual. And also we are going to focus the attention on, on the current experience of our physical body as it exists in this right moment in time. So if you want to notice the skin, touching your clothes, your butt touching the seat. Maybe you can hear some noise. And then maybe you have some pain or aches on the back or on the legs. Try to make an inventory of how your body is in this moment. Maybe you feel some tension and like we do most of the time, we are going to take deep breathing by expand, expanding our belly, feeling our belly expand, and also maybe the lungs. And when we exhale, we are going to exhale, exhale slowly and use the exhale, exhaling as an excuse to relax. You can put your hand on your belly if it's more easy, or you can just leave your hands on your tights or on your lap. Deep, deep breathe in, and then exhale slowly and relax. Every time you relax, you relax, you will feel your breath going out and also your belly going through the navel to the spine. You breathe in. And when we breathe out, we start by relaxing a little bit more the feet. empty your lungs, navel to the spine, and then to breathe in, you relax the belly, breathe in, expand the belly. And when we breathe out, we're going on relaxing the legs. And then breathe in, Expand the belly. And breathe out by relaxing the hips and the lower back. Breathe in, expand the belly. And breathe out by relaxing the upper back. And then breathe in, as usual, expand the belly. Feel your lungs that get full of hair. And then breathe out the navel through the spine. Empty the lungs and relax the neck and the shoulder. One more time, breathe in. 
and breathe out, relax your head and your brain. There are part of us that are protected inside ourselves and part of us that those parts are wounded and in pain and those part of us that are wounded in pain and we try to protect them are the part that make us react and behave in ways that aren't always in a lean alignment we, with who we want to be or with who we are for, for true. You know, the good news is that we already have begun the journey of liberating and creating ourselves with our daily practice. And now that we are relaxed, I want you to call to mind the picture of yourself asleep in your bed. See yourself in bed, asleep at morning, just right before waking up. Try to feel the sensation, this good feeling of total relaxation. And now, I want to imagine yourself waking up, and getting ready for your day and notice how your mind is peaceful at the ease. you are breathing slowly and you keep this kind of relaxation as you walk in your house and you get ready maybe you have breakfast and you feel grateful for who you are or the life you live and now picture this gratitude as a white light surrounding you, all your body And then as you see yourself go on with your day, feel this gratitude all around and this light, white light all around. And notice that this kind of sensation, this kind of white light all around help you to be able to pause before reacting and so you can witness yourself picking the emotion emotional reaction And while you feel yourself in this white light, I want you to repeat mentally as a mantra to yourself these four different sentences that are repeating your mind after me. I am peace. I am clarity. I am unity and I am love. And now that you are fully protected, I want you to call in your future self. See yourself coming, your future self coming to you. Notice the feelings the future, your future self will guide you toward 
what you need to do. Listen what your future self has to tell you and take it all in. And then when you feel ready, you can slowly come out of the meditation and maybe you want to write down the words that your future self told you. And maybe you want to do a self-portrait, a double self-portrait, as we do every time we start the class, the self-portrait, you click on the on your face on the Zoom, or you can choose to draw a portrait of your future self so you don't forget all the things you, you saw and the sensation, and you can write down also the emotion you felt. I'm going to put a timer. Okay, let's go. And as you go about doing the class, notice the ease and come back to, to the sensation of gratitude and clarity you felt during the meditation. Maybe I'm, I'm putting six minutes as a timer. And then if you need more, maybe, because I want you to draw also your future self. And I mean, you can choose to do two portraits side to side, or you can choose to, to draw the scene you saw during the meditation, maybe your future self came to you, maybe, I don't know, draw down your meditation.
Okay, we are almost uh, there. Do you need more time? Is it okay? Perfect. Okay. So, um, where you be able to, like, um, did you write down some some clues or things that your future self say to you? Uh, see, yes, uh, no. Um, the thing is that that the thing is uh, the exercise of today. Uh, we are going to divide those journaling questions we are going to do uh, in five different um, five, five different um, theme. I don't know how to say, like emotional and um, the, the physical part, like the emotion, the, the body, and maybe the goal, like in the profession. <laughs> I, put, I made my pen a professional, and then there is like uh, interpersonal, how we relate with other people, and also like, uh, I can say like spiritual, but uh, spiritual can be like how we, we relate also with our inner self. Uh, not you, you don't need to be like religious to have like spirituality. Um, what I would like to do is like um, we are going to take maybe sometimes uh, uh, thinking or maybe you want to write it down, maybe I can put some, some time in, or these different areas of your life. Um, um, and maybe um, you can notice if, if you have like um, uh, something, some part on which you want to work, on which uh, maybe there is some uh, area of uh, of those uh, you want to work more than the others. Um, maybe you want to to take the time to to spend uh, um, spend more time on witnessing uh, in which area you want to work the most. But anyway, now we are going to work on the five different, and then. Once you have the pattern, you can you can go in your daily practice, as I'm sure you will do. Um, so um, uh, how how can we do it? Uh, let me let me check. Uh, maybe I'm going to uh, to put a timer. We are going to divide maybe the page in five column. You can. Maybe turn your page and 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 divide it in five columns. And so the first uh, column you can uh, uh, you can mark uh, like emotional or emotions. I don't know. And then on the second column uh, you want to write down um, because I took some notes. But um, yes, we are going to do like the emotional column. 
and then uh, uh, like yes like uh, uh, social or uh, interpersonal I don't know how can we like relation to others I don't know how can we write it down uh, so it's your emotion uh, the way you relate to other people and then there is um, Yes, this we can you can write down like spiritual, but when I say spiritual, it doesn't have to mean religious. It's something like the the eye you put inward, and then like um, 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 physical, like how you 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 set, you stay in your body, so it can be like ways of owning your body i don't know if this makes sense and then uh, the last column if we can uh, write down like i don't know can be like like uh, i write it down like professional but doesn't have to be like work oriented the production oriented it can be I don't know the things you do that make you feel good, which are maybe in the work area or in the artistic field or the creative, the action you take toward some, some activity. Um, I'm always like hesitating because I think about the exercise and then thinking about those fields, but uh, you are not in an obligation. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you you want to add some fields of that I didn't think of. I don't know. Uh, 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 no, no. I don't know. What do you want to add? Something or uh, anyway? Then maybe the, the more you you do you do your journaling, then maybe you will find your and then you can come back to me and say, maybe you can write this down. Because, um, I don't know, I guess that those aspects are the, the things that we need to balance in everyday uh, life. Um, so uh, what we are going to do is like, we are going to do maybe some, we are going to do some like, list making as we do when we do our journaling into like what we did, what we felt and all this stuff. And we, we are going to write down um, um, a list of things maybe we want to experience in one of these five fields. You can write what you want to experience to, to feel more, more fulfilled uh, um, for each area. Maybe, um, I don't know, maybe I can do an example. I don't want to do an example because maybe I don't want to, uh, I don't know, to, to give uh, each one as their own personal, uh, experience but maybe can be uh, in the emotional in the emotional part can be uh, maybe you want to you write down and you and you you find that uh, you have uh, you struggle to to feel some emotion or, or you react uh, to some other emotion and you want to work on this kind of uh, of goal and um, maybe you want to find a way of end all emotion. I don't know, it can be anything, but I, I stay broad. And um, just write down like the grocery shopping list of the thing that you struggle or the thing that you feel that you must work on. You don't need to judge your list. You don't need to have like um, a, an answer. I don't know. It, um, if, if in my emotional column, I want to write down, I want to manage my anger, anger, I don't know what to say in English. Uh, just write down, if you feel the need to write it down, you feel 
without thinking, yes, but how? Because the how is not the purpose of the exercise. Now we will find the how later in the, in the exercise. Is it clear? Okay, so maybe uh, since the list making is something we, we often do, and I guess it's, it's a way like to do more fast. If you prefer doing sentences, like doing this list, uh, working on this different field in a journaling way, you can, uh, it just, you will find your way. Maybe I will put like, um, if we have five, uh, uh, two minutes and a half, it's 30 seconds each list. No, I guess, no, not, not sure. Tren, uh, un minuto, du, yes, two minutes and a half. So it's 30 seconds um, each list. And then as usual, if you don't have enough time, we will extend the time. Just pick those area in which you want to, feel more fulfilled, it can be all, even if try, and then we are going to pick some at the end. Okay, let's go. If you have question before, no, okay, let's go. And also like, try to, to work on all the list. Maybe you have some list which is perfect and fulfilled and you don't need to write. The only things you, you must do uh, is like in the list, write down the things on, that only you can manage. You can write down, uh, I don't know, for the emotion, I don't want uh, this person to make me, uh, or this person to behave this way or this, situation to be like write down things around yourself i don't know how to say the yes mm. we are we always journal to work on our behaviors so we can't ch change uh, someone else and can be like start small. You don't need to write down even small things and then we'll check them. I guess that the timer has ended. Are you okay or do you need some more uh, extension of time? I need more I need more time because the things that I do and I love I didn't did. Of course, I will put maybe one more minute, okay? 
and just write down like don't think uh, on when you just write down to take them out you don't need to find a solution while you write down this is not the, the time of finding the solution uh, you can do you can't do both like so just write down liberating yourself the things that you you struggle More time. Okay, so everybody did their, uh, their list. Uh, so the thing is that uh, now for each um, uh, each part of, of your life, you have a list of, of the thing that, that sucks uh, or the things that you want to stop doing and maybe it's too much or it's overwhelming. And <laughs> the thing is like, uh, the thing is like uh, um, this, uh, so now you have your list and uh, to have it like, okay, on, like on emotional, I can't handle this, I can't do this. Uh, on the interpersonal, oh, it's very difficult to do this. And you, you can't work on, the, on those things all at the same time because it's like having a goal will fall on, on ourselves. But um, what we are going to do is like very slowly, we are going to take some more time and um, you're going to circle now, look at your list, uh, take a different pen, a different color and um, a different color pen. And for each list, uh, you're going to circle, a circle, uh, highlight uh, the, the item on the list that which is less difficult to change or to approach or to see. So you don't need to start uh, with the biggest, just circle for each list, uh, the, the easiest. So don't, we are, every time we do this kind of exercise and especially if you want to make it like a daily practice, we don't want to make it too much and it's good to go to start slowly. Okay, so each, each one of you, let's go and look at your, uh, at your list. I'm going to put 30 seconds just because I like to put timers. And um, 30 seconds, look at your five list and highlight the easiest for each one. The things that you say, okay, I write it, this down, it's a problem, but I can manage to, to work on this. I don't know. For on the physical one, uh, 
maybe in your list you put you write down that you really want to run a marathon but you also maybe write down that you want to drink one glass of water each morning before coffee i don't know uh, maybe sir so i like the the glass of water each morning and not the marathon <laughs> because maybe okay, i don't have any battery all, all my device are without battery today it's Okay, I guess that the 30 seconds that sounded, if you, if you can. And if some area, like some of those lists as only difficult things, don't highlight, don't highlight difficult things, just pick the easiest. Okay, it's not ringing this. Are you, are you okay? Okay, so just pick uh, for all the, the, um, the items you have uh, highlighted, just for the next exercise, just pick maybe one or two, I don't know. And what we are going to do is like, the subject you have highlighted is some change you witness you you want to perform but and we are going to take 30 seconds for each maybe for starting and uh, for example uh, um, you are going to write on the side if you have if you have the space you are going to write uh, on uh, on the side of, of the items you highlighted. Um, if you want to put a little bit more of um, information, uh, we are not in the journaling exercise yet, but uh, maybe you already know or not, but you want to maybe add some information on, on the side and for each things uh, you highlighted, maybe you want to write on the side, uh, if you already know what can you change to achieve uh, this, uh, uh, this one you highlighted, what can you change? So uh, maybe, uh, I, I, I'm very bad at giving an example, but if I, I want to take an, a very like neutral example, like the physical, as I said, maybe you, you have in your list, uh, I, I want my body to be stronger, run the marathon, and also you, you write down, maybe I want to, I don't know, be health, healthy and drink a glass of water every morning. I don't know, <laughs> and not whiskey every morning. And maybe on the side you want to write uh, what you can change, uh, Maybe just write on the side, uh, create a morning routine or uh, prepare uh, the water in front of me, in front of the, the coffee maker so that I remember. Very basic things. Maybe you want to add on the, on the side. Does it make sense? So 30 seconds, it's very easy. It's just a way to, as usual, we do the list we pick our brain by doing the list and then we take the item of the list and then we, we go a little bit deeper. Um, this, this cars today is, okay, 30 seconds. I don't know what's happening. I have a problem with all the noise coming from my street, which is a very noisy street. And I, I'm, I'm becoming, uh, the no old person complaining about the noise in the street. It's... Okay. But why uh, why the cars are too loud? Uh, it's because be football or Independence Day? What no, it's uh, not football, but... Um, um, and my, my telephone. Uh, not football, but rugby. 
uh, rugby is like uh, like this yes because sports La contact sports yes 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 because la rochelle has a very during the year the la rochelle uh, equipe the la, Ro la rochelle team became very popular they are very strong and they often uh, and today there were it was an english uh, uh, team came here and they, it was a huge uh, yes Com they came competition from Ow. <laughs> and so la rochelle all the town everybody has flags yellow and black flags which are the the color of the and no it's okay it's just like i guess that my my mind is not very good those days and so each noise for me it's difficult to process so we have the items we have the field we we need we have to work on we did the, uh, the the list from each list we decide to to play it like easy and we took the easiest thing on the list and we we pick you you pick those easiest thing on the list and you already do a little bit of the job by taking those 30 seconds just to write on the side what come to your mind to uh start this change okay everybody did this okay so now uh the thing is this list you can keep it and uh, each morning or i don't know if you have a, a graphic journaling practice it's been uh, now it's we are past the one year of graphic journaling uh, meetings uh, maybe now you have a, some kind of routine in which way you do your graphic journaling maybe it's during the morning maybe it's at night maybe there is no routine or maybe it's once a week i don't know what you can do is now that you have this list you can integrate the practice that we are going about to do and I can't talk because there is the noise. <laughs> you can integrate the next exercise in your graphic journaling routine using the goals, the list you, you made uh, until now. Um, these goals are there. You saw them, you, you wrote them down. You can't, uh, uh, you can't, uh, um, how do you say in English? Uh, you, you, you don't want to start uh, achieving the goal, goal and changing all the stuff all in once because it's too difficult, it's overwhelming. And what's happening often is we want to start big, but it's too big, we get overwhelmed and so we stop. And then we stop and each time we stop inst instead of saying to ourselves, it's okay, we say to ourselves, you see, you can't achieve, uh, uh, you can't work on yourself because you let things go. And so the, it's uh, like, instead of being um, an exercise of uh, opening doors uh, and make you feel good, it, it will, can become an exercise that it's overwhelming and put you in the position of uh, failure. So you have this list, you can, uh, what you can do, is you take your uh, your journal you have the list and you you take the paper and you do a di this i don't know how to say in english you know you do this so your list is there and every time you start your graphic journaling practice maybe you want to go first thing to to, to this list you have and you have uh, you have done this to the page i don't know how to say in english and you pick one item and you work on it in the graphic journaling exercise or journaling exercise we are about to do. Uh, Justine said in English, it's the, the dog here. Okay. In Italiano, è l'orecchietta. L'orecchia, l'orecchietta is a small, a small ear. So it's like similar. And uh, in French, uh, it's a co corne? No, cornet. Uh, Cornet, uh, 
How do you say Deborah in Brazilian, in Portuguese? Brazilian Portuguese. Aurelia. Aurelia. So when Aurelia. you do this, you do the Aurelia? Yes, but I oh. never do this at my books or, or my, my agendas. You don't or you, or you do? Never. Ah, never. Look, I do to all the books. It's terrible. It's so ugly. Oh! I, all my books are like this. And sometimes I read books that I, I do one each page. And I have a, a special technique when I have, a, I can't find it. When I have, a, sometimes I, I do an oreya on one page and then I turn the page and then I want to do on this side too. And I do a double. Justine, you do it too? Like, like this, I do it. Deborah is feeling not very good. I need to go now. I'm sorry. I need to go now. We need to stop to see <laughs> each other. I'm the same. I think it's like the books feel feels more alive when you highlight stuff you like, when you uh, dog hear the pages and stuff. I even bring the books in the bath, so like it's like all like the humidity makes the, the pages uh, like uh, all wavy and stuff. <laughs> I, I see, I see Justine do this, but I can't. Uh, sorry, <laughs> but I can't do this because the humidity then make it too fragile. But I'm in the middle between Deborah and uh, and you two. Anyway, you. Uh, so maybe Deborah, you can't do the Aure Aurelia to your page, but you can find a way of remembering this list. And so each morning, what we are going to do is like you take one one uh, one of those items and you work on this uh, um, on your question. That now we start the exercise because um, the the. Um, the thing is like the introduction to this exercise uh, needed to be, because it's, it's good to have a list of things that we feel that are pressure, give us pressure to work on. I don't know, they, they, they push to, to be seen and they want to be seen by ourselves. Uh, I don't know if my English makes sense and I'm sorry. So I'm going to put a, a, a timer. What time is it? Okay. Uh, so um, how can we do uno, due, tre, quattro? We have five questions. Maybe we can take, I don't know, two minutes each, quest, each question. If we take two minutes each question, I can I can do the the, time, the math. It's like 10, 10 minutes exercise. Okay. Um, okay, see, we have plenty of time. So maybe two min two minutes and a half for starting. So uh, pick up one of these highlighted items. Just we are going to work on one and then you know how to do it and then you can you go to your to Aurelia page and then you can do every day or whatever. The more often you do it as a practice and the more you work on this, but also like the practice of the graphic journaling, if you skip uh, some practice, it's okay. It's not uh, like uh, it's light, light in the mood. Uh, you, you, we don't need to, to judge ourselves because we're skipping the practice. So, uh, I don't know, we can, uh, you can choose to maybe divide your page in, in four, but then you have one that is out, uh, or maybe you can, uh, I don't know, find your way to, to put your, uh, your page. You can do maybe each exercise, uh, you can do two questions each page, or uh, I don't know, uh, I know for sure because I saw uh, on the Instagram, like when Beku do it, uh, you, ex you she do exercise like, like this, but also like Deborah. And I don't know, 
We have five questions, put them on the page as you prefer, <laughs> as you like. So first question is like, you are going to write uh, um, uh, what you are pra practicing today. So you start your, uh, your page with, today I'm practicing uh, uh, drinking the, the water every morning. I don't know, this is my silly example. Uh, you want to write it down or maybe what you want to do is like, since we are graphic journals, uh, journaler, uh, you want to use the, this two minute and a half to draw what you are working on. Okay, so maybe I want to work, today I'm working on the not reacting anger or uh, today I'm working on running the marathon, I don't know. Uh, Take this two minutes and a half to draw yourself in this situation. If it's something abstract, it's okay. Draw whatever image comes to mind. And since we are always talking about ourselves and what we want to improve, uh, I guess it could be fun that you can draw yourself as a character into the, the scene. Okay, let's go. Okay, one minute to go. I don't know if it's enough. Can also be like image that are evocating what you want to achieve. Like if you are in the emotional um, part, uh, Maybe, and you say, maybe I want to be more stable or I don't know, centered. Maybe you can draw yourself uh, and use like image, like symbols. Maybe you want to draw yourself as a, I, I did this kind of exercise and I drew myself like as a tree in which my legs are roots on the ground. and. You don't need to be realistic when you do this kind of exercise. Maybe you want to just achieve these feelings. Do you need more time? No, okay, perfect. So um, we did this, uh, do you remember? I don't remember, it was not less time, but the, the class before in which we did this exercise of three things you want and three things uh, you are grateful for, for and doing this every morning, uh, you write down a list of three things you want and three things you are grateful for. This kind of exercise is some kind of evolution of that exercise because you go a little bit deeper. So the three things you want become, you, you list just one thing for the day and because you want to go a little bit deeper, so you just list one. But for the, the second list, um, 
you want to write down again a list of things you are grateful for around this aspect you want to change because when you like uh, I don't know what example example I can I can do for example I if I I have in my list uh, of today, like uh, I want to work of being more stable, more centered. And then so I, this first exercise, I draw myself as a tree and uh, I my legs are the roots and I do this. Then I want to do the, the second question is like things I'm grateful for. Of course, I'm not, I want to stay around this feeling. I don't want, I'm, Maybe it's not very useful to, to write down, I'm grateful for my, I don't know, example, for things that are not related. I don't know, I'm grateful for, I don't know, I can't do it, an example. But what you want to do is like, the thing is, okay, I want to achieve this. I want to feel like this. Um, but... Uh, it's good also to, on the side, write down what you are grateful for, because uh, uh, what you are grateful for often are things or feelings or situation, I don't know, that already exist. So give you uh, the anchorage, the anchor, I don't know how to say, root yourself into, what you already have uh, and shift uh, how do you feel you are not all, only in a feeling of i want to achieve this so i have something missing okay i want to go there but where i am right now i have already those kind of things that i'm grateful for when i say things uh, it's just uh, not object uh, i mean uh, like can be situation or feelings or i don't know um, when you identify and focus what you are grateful, um, grateful for helps you to acknowledge what you already um, exist, okay? And so uh, help you to shift the energy and also it's not because uh, you want to achieve something that you need to suffer where you where you are right now. You can just like enjoy where you are, then where you are, and you are grateful. And then you can also work on yourself. Does it make sense? Sam, I see Deborah. Tell me. It's because I am grateful. Every, every day, every time, I'm very grateful because my health, because I have a bed to sleep. It's a, such a common feeling in my life that's so difficult to me to do this exercise. So beautiful. This is so, I'm going to cry, Deborah, because this is so beautiful uh, because you, you, so you don't need to, to look around a lot. Uh, it's not something uh, you can because you live in this sensation every day and you can just take the sensation you live every day and put it on the paper. And the more you practice this exercise and the more you can uh, cultivate this feeling. And so it's positive, it's not, uh, it's not a negative. Uh, the more we, I guess we talked about this last time, I don't remember, those kind of exercise is like, the, the, the gratefulness, I'm not sure about the, the, the term in English, it's like a muscle. The more you feel, we feel, and the more we are able to come back to it. Maybe you, we can't stay there every day, every, every hour. Sometimes we fall out and we have wounds and pain and things, but also it, it's okay. But the more we work on how we want to feel and what we are grateful for, and the more we have, we know that there is this space, as you say, every day, in every morning, in everything. So when you go to do the list, it's the list is just a way to shifting the energy, because so from there, for the next question, you are in a place of like feeling good. You're not in a place of feeling like uh, I'm lacking something. 
So I have this goal that I want to achieve, but I'm very small and I can't do this. Is, does it make sense? So I'm going to put maybe uh, two minutes for the, so write down the things you are grateful for. And as usual, when I say things, it's just a general way. It's person and feelings and situation. Uh, and try to stay near or not uh, the thing you are practicing, the, the first question. As usual, you can take this time to write down words or do a drawing, maybe, or not, it's, it's up to you. Uh, 40 seconds to go. And I, I forgot to tell you, but it's okay. This is something we did last. Sorry, this is something we did last time in the um, in the grateful list. I forgot to tell you now. The thing is, when you do your list of things, uh, things you are grateful for, it's always useful to to make a sentence. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you, but like, if you only say, okay, I'm grateful for uh, my bed, for example, I'm grateful for uh, the, the glass of water I have, clean water to drink every morning, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's okay, you can write this, and when you write it, you feel this, this, the feeling, but often um, what I find it very useful is like making a little statement like, have, in, instead of, of writing, uh, I'm grateful for the roof over my head, uh, for my house, uh, my home, I don't know, you can write down, having a home, having the roof over my head, uh, make me feel safe. So you are grateful for feeling safe, you are not grateful for the object, uh, or uh, having, um, I, I don't know, Doing this kind of um, of list, uh, this kind of statement, I guess it's help because sometimes it's like, okay, I'm grateful for uh, my new boots. Uh, I don't know my new shoes, and okay, the shoes. Uh, yes, but wow, wow, because maybe in my new shoes I feel wow. <laughs> I feel uh, I don't know uh, energized. I don't know. And I guess it's always useful. Anyway, we are, I don't want to. Okay, third question. It's not a question, but third, uh, third items of the journaling exercise. So first item of the journaling exercise, we state the one uh, thing we want to practice. Second, we get into the mood by uh, doing a grateful uh, things we are uh, list. Uh, third is like we do a statement of on uh, like a, like an affirmation like as we do during the meditation like I am peace I am love I am centered I don't remember I wrote, write it down I'm clarity or, or you want to do this 
always in because uh, uh, every time we get stuck in in the same thought. So, like, uh, I'm if I, if I want to use the the journaling exercise I did, I want to be centered. I drew myself like as a um, as a tree, and then my grateful uh, uh, list uh, as this, for example, having my home make me feel safe for other things that I put in my list. And then um, since I want to work on this being centered, on being like stable, uh, it's because I often don't feel very stable. I feel often like <laughs> I can. So, for starting on, on this stability, I want to state uh, I am stable, I am. Uh, and it's like first time you do this statement feels a little bit strange and you don't believe it. And also like you feel like you, I don't know what to say in English, qu'est-ce que tu te crois? You, you, you know, how do you say in English? Yeah, yes, I'm stable. And you know it's fake and you know it's not true. Who do um, you think you are? How do you say? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Yes, like you want to make a statement that you don't believe at all because you are working on this kind of issue. So if you are, if you need feel the need to work on it, you don't believe it. So when you do the statement, you feel like a, a fraud. Uh, like I'm stable, it's not true. And this is something I struggle a lot, but in your uh, third um, items of the journal, you want to, to switch from the habitual th thought um, because just saying the affirmation, writing down the affirmation, uh, can make you feel the, what you desire, can make you shift the, the feeling, the, what you feel. Uh, so I'm going to put the timer and you are going to write down the affirmation, which is a shifting uh, related to the, the, the one things that you are practicing. Let's go. Tell me when you are, okay, we have one minute to go. Um, Forty seconds to go. Okay, everybody did the, the statement. So uh, the fourth one is something that if you do the, the, um, the grateful list uh, in a statement, you already imply how do you want to feel, but then we need to like, it's good to, 
it's always good to to go look how we want to feel so what you are going to do in the in the fourth uh, item of the this exercise is like the change in this area allow me to feel and then you write so the thing you're practicing for um, you want to go pick how how do you want to feel and how all the change you are going to practice um, the thing is like um, if you write it down uh, like often we don't don't even know why we want something uh, um, but what we can know is like how we want to feel. And sometimes we realize that it's only about the way we want to feel and it's not linked to something specific. Uh, we can just achieve this by different, uh, I don't know, if I, if I say stupid, I, I want to win an Oscar, <laughs> best actor, <laughs> I want to win an Oscar. It does, why, why, how do you want, why you want to achieve this? What is the feeling that you want to achieve? Okay, I want to achieve, win the, win the Oscar to feel uh, this feeling, I don't know, I'm inventing. Uh, then you realize that it's not really about the, the goal you want to achieve, it's not the Oscar that maybe can give you this. You can achieve this feeling by doing different, different things. Does it make sense? Uh, so let's go two minutes. Uh, write down that how the change in this area that you are working uh, in this exercise, in this page, uh, how they allow you to feel. You can write like statement, they like in the present tense, like the doing this make me feel like this. Uh, like in, in the present, like you are living this, like you speak as, as if. Okay, four seconds to go. Do you need more time? So the last, um, the last item on the journaling uh, exercise is like uh, when it apply, it depends on what you are working for or working on. Uh, you are going to, you want to, I don't know how to say in English, you want to like decide when, when you want to apply those kind of change, when you want to practice those kind of feeling you want to feel. Uh, so uh, for example, you, we are going to take the, 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 last, the last exercise and the next two minutes and a half to 
just try to visualize when you you have the trigger to don't stick to your um, to your goal i don't know how to say uh, you want to try to 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 see it what may trigger you into not respecting uh, all the cool list and uh, statement uh, and uh, a list of on how you want to feel you just made like all this is very good but then you know that there are some moments of the day some moments during your uh, weeks that something happened and you know that this is the moment you need to practice and stick to how you want to feel and the statement you did, uh, like I am. Uh, does it make sense? Do you, sometimes uh, we work on ourselves and then all goes uh, like this because uh, somebody tell us something and we, we are triggered and then we know the theory, but the practice go good well. And it's, it's very difficult, but it's. I think it's. It's cool to to know what when this happen, and maybe it will happen anyway. But at least you try, then you you write it down. Uh, so. Um, uh, you. What we are going to do in the next two minutes and a half is like you are going to answer this question like i'm i'm practicing uh, like it's it's maybe the most difficult because you want to list maybe we can break it in two or you can break it in two in the same exercise is like you need to to decide which is the new behavior you want to to bring uh, to achieve this goal and in, in the meantime you you want to list uh, and, and see what may trigger uh, this. Uh, does it make sense? Uh, like like in, when we say the beginning in the meditation, when we say that we have some part inside of us that are wounded and in pain, and those are the parts we protect. And those parts, like the trigger often goes uh, when we touch those parts. So when we want to change the behavior, we need to decide how we want to change it, but also what, what happened when the, the behavior get, get messy. Okay. And let's, okay, two minutes. Uh, maybe we are going to, to go a little bit after eight, maybe five minutes after eight, is it okay? Okay, so two minutes and a half, uh, try to, to decide this new behavior and try to see also what trigger the, the ancient, the old one. Let's go. I don't know. Yes, like you can, and all as usual, do your list. There is no judgment. Uh,
and you can also draw the answer with symbol or Everybody did, did finish or if you need more time. So now I don't know how, how uh, look your page. Do you have only text? Do you have image? Did you use your image as um, a like symbol? The thing is that the third, for example, the third, uh, um, the third question we did, the third item on the exercise is like the affirmation. This uh, will be like your, uh, your shield when you have the trigger that comes your way. Uh, and you know that probably you can hang yourself, how do you say? You can hold to how you want to feel and to the affirmation you, you, you did, uh, to just recenter yourself and don't let uh, the external trigger uh, get you out, out of how you want to feel. Does it make sense? And uh, I don't know, how many of you, uh, did you, how did you, did you do it? Like uh, writing or did you draw a little also? The boat? I wrote. You wrote, okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I wrote. Uh, what? I wrote too. You wrote, okay. The thing is that like, it depends how, on how you feel. The thing is like, you can wrote it or because when you draw it, um, you or it depends on on how on what you are working on on um, according to the day but the drawing uh, of the exercise make you uh, visualize it maybe more or oh, i don't know i don't know it depends how how you work um, so we, we took this kind of exercise like from far because we needed to build up a list, but uh, then it's also something you can do very fast in the morning. We took time just to, to get into it, but then it can be done. Uh, it's something you decide, something you write down and you can decide to have a daily practice about this. Um, and if you use, uh, like, if you make it into drawings, you can also make cool drawings because they always, they often get very whimsical and sim symbolic uh, drawing because they are not very realistic and they can be fun to do. Um, do you have any question? Perfect. We are a little bit off the time, but it's okay. And now my street is silent. <laughs> um, I, I, I can hear a play. You wanted to say, to say something, Deborah? No, no, because Jefferson is playing. I can I guess hear it's too loud. No, it's, ah, it's perfect. Say hello. He used to play viola like Justine. Ah. Yes, he played at an uh, orchestra. Now he plays only Rebecca. Ah. 
so cool. We need to do a you we no, I can't play. You you need to do a jam on the Zoom next time. <laughs> I'm too bad. I'm too bad. I claim my right to suck at playing viola. <laughs> but only one music. Huh? You should play just one music for us next class. Only one. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> but it's not going to happen, but I appreciate the thought. <laughs> <laughs> So, it was very good to see you. Sorry for the, for the noise that get me at the beginning. I, I couldn't be concentrated because I was like, ah. but we managed to arrive to the end of the class. And see you in two weeks. I'm going to put the, um, the date and um, yes, a lot of love on you. Bye-bye.